This video was sponsored by Squarespace. You're really not your usual self today. You seem very down. Don't you agree, Hurley? Not the vest. Fuck! Oh, he's sad and has the vest. Oh, God. The Reaper attacked. Lost cat! I, I don't care about the Reaper attacking the lost cat! Oh, we put on a jacket. We're leaving. Well, I must be leaving now. Yes, understood. See you later, Mr. Sholmes. Ah, you really are a shameless liar sometimes, my dear fellow. What? You seek to put me off my guard and follow me, don't you? Well, you would be wasting your time. The thought hadn't crossed my mind, but now I'm wondering where you're going. Ah, uh, well then, see you later indeed. Huh? Why do I feel like eventually this room will be relevant? I keep observing the things in this room. Thinking one day something will actually be relevant in here and not just a place that you sleep. Sholmes, I'm looking at your office. What are you hiding, bitch? Lord Strongheart, I trust you've been ke keeping well? Let's see, since you arrived and requested an audience, it's been 4 hours, 32 minutes, and... 26 seconds. I've kept you waiting a while, my apologies. Oh, uh, no, 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 not at all. I, I like nothing more than standing around staring into space. Good to know. <laughs> oh, yeah, where would I find Lord Van Zeeks now? I would assume he's at his office. Right, I'll go and ask him about the attack in person. I want to get this straight from the horse's mouth. Are we really going to Van Zeeks office? No fucking way. The private office of Lord Beric Von Zeeks? I am not worthy. I think I'll go to the prison first. Because I always save the best for last. I know what happened, it must have been that! That. The day before the demonstration, I had my usual meal of frankfurters at the hotel restaurant. When I paid the bill, they gave me three shillings too much in change. But instead of saying anything, I just slipped the coins into my pocket. That's, they're still in there now. It's divine retribution for my wrongdoing. That's what this is. Right. Okay, everybody. We're gonna go to Lord Beric Von Zeeks's private office. I am so nervous. Look at all the wine bottles and the glasses. Oh my fucking god. That hooded figure was so still I hadn't noticed his or her presence. I wonder who it is. What are you doing here? Oh! Ah! Ah! He's not behind the counter. He's actually like standing directly in front of me. Hi. That's my apprentice. And he's sitting there of his own free will. I didn't know you had an apprentice. Must be the same person who was pictured in the newspaper. He's very able in combat. A requisite skill for anyone under my tutelage. Damn. <laughs> He's really hot. <laughs> Why am I so attracted to this man? <laughs> oh my god. Mr. I hate the way he looks at me like that. <laughs> ah! Ah! Hairbrain's from a respectable British family. After graduating from the University of London, he moved to Germany to carry out his research. That's all. So you were students together. I was in fact is I was in the faculty of law, of course, and he is in science, so our paths ra rarely crossed. But curiously, we got along, though I've not met him since my university days. Certainly didn't expect our next encounter to take this form. And with you, of all people, representing him. Oh god, he hates us. Look at that fine collection of hallowed chalices and bottles neatly lined up there. My hallowed bottles are filled with the essence of the finest grapes from the finest vineyards I visit. So, chat, he's there to tell you that it's not actually blood, that he's not actually a vampire. Just so we're clear. And I personally oversee these chalices being made by the finest crystal craftsmen in the world. And yet you throw them around in court like they were worthless. 
Before you open your mouth next time, you should consider the poor artisans whose work you defile. So it's my fault that you crush your wine glasses? Okay, bro. And that's a marble chess set beside it. Chess, that's the Western version of our Japanese shogi game, isn't it? And you know what chess means in anime language. That Van Zeeks is our mortal enemy, our rival, as all chess players are at opposing sides. That portrait really dominates the room, doesn't it? Oh, uh, daddy -o? Hello. It's a very majestic outfit, I suppose, but sadly, whoever painted it didn't do a very good job of capturing Lord Van Zeke's facial features. Yes, you're right. I mean, it's not far off, but the artist has exaggerated his subject's handsomeness, I think. That reminds me! I heard... <laughs> I tried to brush past that. Oh, it's nice. Okay. Wait, he has bats. And you're not a vampire? Why are there bats? Look at all those ancient casks lining the wall there. Casks in the Reaper's chamber. Oh, they caskets. You don't think. All those p people who escaped c c conviction in court are well, lying inside the dead, 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 do you? What ridiculous notions are you going through your head, man? This is my collection of fine vintages. Uh, yes, of course. Uh, thank you for clearing that up. Bruno and I were just musing to ourselves. Don't mind us, Mr. Reaper. I wouldn't if you hadn't invited yourselves to my office to talk nonsense within my earshot. He's pissed, bro. He's fucking pissed. I've never seen someone sitting like that before. He hasn't moved a muscle since we arrived. Do you think perhaps he's dead? He's not dead, but you know what he is? Japanese. Why else would he be sitting on the floor? Iris said that he, she never sees anyone sit like that. Well, that's because you're in Britain. I mean to say that if my pseudonym serves a useful purpose, I adopt it gladly and with honor. But it's putting you in danger. You could be killed. If that is my fate, let the god decide. Lord Van Zeeks. This man is very strangely hot, um, attractive, smart, um, Mysterious. I don't like it. <laughs> Looks like he's wearing some kind of mask. On Lord Strongheart's orders. Nobody knows the man's face or indeed his identity. But why would you agree to take on a clearly suspicious individual? Lord Strongheart's orders, again. He's not one for meaningless follies. This, there will be a good reason for his actions. Why are you so interested in my apprentice anyway? Oh no, I mean, sorry, I didn't mean to. The way he stood there so casually, yet with that flawless posture. Couldn't be. I think we're on the same page. What? I've had it with you this time, I'm warning you, I'll arrest you in a minute. Oh yeah? Go on then, Inspector. Give it a shot. You ain't got no evidence and you know it. I know those voices. I'm an apprentice now, learning to be a Scotland Yard detective. So you'll have to call me when everyone else does. It's Inspector Lestrade now. What? Actually, there's a, still a big mystery surrounding Gina, isn't there? Oh, what, Runo? What? Six months ago, Gina was a defendant in a trial prosecuted by the Reaper. A trial in which she was found not guilty, and yet, here she is still. Come on, you're still not on about that, are ya? Legend of the Reaper, whatever it's called. Come on, don't, you don't have to worry, Odo. Are they foreshadowing? Because I really don't... I really hope that Gina doesn't die. It must have been a magnificent explosion, and I've seen my fair share. You've seen things like this before, you mean? Of course, Hurley's always doing experiments that end in a bang. 
One time, he made something that exploded with such force it took the roof off the building. I wish you'd been there to see it, Runo. Uh, it's hard to get too excited about that, given that I now live in the roof. Why does this look like a, I don't know, a crossbow is what I think of. Oh! Oh my god, it is a crossbow. Holy shit, I got it. I'm gonna show him my armband. Hey, look at my armband. This is a symbol of a defense lawyer where I come from, Inspector. It doesn't pass muster here in London. You might as well chuck it in the deep fat fryer. No one's ever said that to me before. Mr. Sholm suggested I feed it to a dog, though. If you fry it first, you can feed it to me. Oh. I want to go back and see Lord Van Zeeks. Damn, look at how majestically he stands there. Sir, hello. Lord Van Zeeks. I think he's ignoring you, Runa. What? The prosecution and defense should avoid speaking outside of the courtroom as a rule. So if anyone is being rude here, it's most certainly the man in black there standing before us. Oh, I see. Well, thank you for setting the record straight. Did you see that? He spoke to me, Runo. Oh my god, Iris is fangirling over him. Okay, well, it was nice seeing you, Lord Van Zeeks, and your hotness. Madam Tuspels, is this supposed to mean something to me? You don't know it? It's the most popular attraction in London at the moment. It's very close to Baker Street, actually. We can go down there now if you, there, there now if you like. No, no, we don't have time for visiting attractions today, Iris. We have a big trial tomorrow. But that's where Hurley is. What? At, at this popular London attraction? Yes. How is it that you know where he is? Hurley told me, but he told me to keep it a secret from you. I don't know how it could be related to the case we're investigating here, but then... Stranger things have happened, and when they happen, Mr. Sholmes is usually at the heart of them. That he is. They're all entirely man-made replicas. That can't be! Do you really expect me to believe that? Just look at them! There's no way anybody could make... <laughs> Maybe one of the waxwork models has fallen over. Y you don't think it could be the work of one of the mass murderers in here, do you? Bruno, stop scaring me. Is it a wax arm or a real one? Come on, you're always pointing that finger of yours in court. Put that on now and see how it feels. Objection! <laughs> Crazy, it's so lifelike. But look, Runo, you can kick this Hurley and he doesn't move a muscle. You can't go around kick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, great. Shall we move on, Iris? Over there, look, there's a great murder scene to enjoy. Much more appealing. Oh, yes. My dear fellow, I take exception to your recoiling in such a manner as if you've seen something truly abhorrent. You could know something, it's true, about Lord Van Zeeks and what happened in the past to change him. Now that you're here, let's take our time. How can I be of assistance? Oh, you're in luck. I'm suddenly quite taken with the idea of conversing. <laughs> Great. So, I'm wondering what it was that happened to make Lord Van Zeek such a different person. I was sure that you'd know, Hurley. Oh, he knows. It's just whether he's gonna tell us or not. Well, it seems we've reached the unavoidable greetings! Come on! I was just about to get Sholmes to talk! You know how much I've been trying to get Sholmes to talk now! Um, uh, what's the situation with that? Ah, oh, my temporary waxwork model. He approached me some days ago, you see, with a business proposal. What sort of proposal? My dear madam, what these, what these sparse exhibits need 
is the addition of a world-famous great detective. Oh my god. But sadly, we were unable to agree t to terms. Let me guess, someone wanted to charge an exorbitant price for his services. For a mere 500 pounds. I will dive into your cauldron of wax this very moment. <laughs> so this waxwork that was stolen, it was a model of some horrible criminal, I suppose. Of a particular horrible criminal, in fact. The killer who left a more profound scar on society than any other, I would say. The Professor. The Professor case happened at, t at around the time I was born, didn't it? Okay, so we're finally back on this! About the Van Zeeks thing, cause uh, yeah, I, I fucking need to know you bitches. Ten years ago, a series of murders that rocked the capital. Ten years ago. Yes. At exactly the time that Beric von Zeeks graduated from university, in fact. What? Surely he's not saying. So the big event that changed Mr. Reaper's life! As you've surmised, it was the Professor case. But I don't understand, how is all this related to Lord Van Zeeks? You must first understand, my dear fellow, why it is that the Professor earned such infamy. Those murdered by the Professor were some of the highest members of British aristocracy. It was the fifth victim that led to the Professor's arrest. The last of the killer's prey was a young noble by the name of... Clint Von Zeeks. In the wake of his older brother's murder, the young Barrack pursued a career as a prosecutor, and eventually became the Reaper we know today. Well, I'm afraid that's all I can say on the matter. For the time being, at least. Okay, for the time being! Okay, bitch! After all, I have work to do. As a waxwork exhibit, I hate you. My commiserations, Mr. Naruto. You seem to have been lumbered with the most tiresome case here. Is this Sholmes? Of course it's Sholmes. Okay. That was very mean, Runo, leaving me all alone at home with Hurley. <laughs> Took me at least an hour to wake him. Is Sholmes still having sleeping problems? The scientific experiment of oversleeping. Yes, of course. How could I forget? Oh, uh, is it? Are you? Herlock Sholmes! Indeed, sir. I am he. Herlock Sholmes! <laughs> I am he, yes, he's very proud of that, yes. As you have remarkably little grounding, remarkably little grounding in science, I feel I ought to inform you. As compelling as this super high voltage instantaneous kinesis hypothesis may be, a practical implementation such as was attempted by the professor at the great exhibition is quite impossible. What? Wait, Sholmes, what are you suggesting? Now, I must hurry along. I wish you the best of luck, dear fellow. See you later, Hurley! Wait, Sholmes! No! If you know I'm batshit dumb in science, you should stay and help me! God damn it! No, instead he had to make everything ten times more complicated! What a bitch! It looks like you're on your own today, you know, but chin up, you can do it! Oh, what about you, Iris? Oh no, I'm afraid I can't help. I have something I need to do. Oh my god. I'm 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 doing a trial. My first trial for the first time in six months. So I'm not only am I rusty as heck, I'm being I'm being the defense in a case about science that I know nothing about. I don't know jack shit about science, and both of my scientific friends just ditched me. What am I gonna do? Do I look like a scientist? No! I'm afraid I can't help. I have something I need to do. I see. It's going to be a big surprise for you when you find out what it is. It better be a fucking great surprise. You're screwing me over here, child. I like that I'm relying on a 10-year-old child for scientific help. This is great. But you know what you don't need a 10-year-old child genius to help you with? Building your own website. 
using today's sponsor of the video, Squarespace. <laughs> what kind of segue was that? <laughs> Squarespace is an easy to use and fully customizable website builder that you can use for practically anything from creating an online store to a personal blog, maybe showing off your art portfolio, or even to have a place where people can make appointments and sell classes. Squarespace has all the tools that you need for whatever you may need it for. Not only that, Squarespace has a 24 seven help center. It's a really good feeling to know that you can rely on them if you ever need anything at any point in time. With that being said though, the even even better part is knowing that you can building your own website right now for free using the link down below. And when you're ready to purchase, you can use the code Crystal, that is two A's and two H's at checkout to get 10% off of your first website or domain purchase. Now, back to the video. Oh, new people. Whoa, we're getting all different kinds of people here. Holy shit. Oh, rip the cape off. Hot mode activated. Um, Von Zeke's prediction time. So, two wine bottles, 11 glasses, and two legs. That is what I'm saying for this trial. The experiment did not go according to plan, however. As the machine was put into operation, there was a large explosion. The blast caused the beam transmitter to point higher than intended. Accordingly, the kinesis resulted in the birdcage materializing in mid-air. Ow. I'm so sorry, I didn't mean for this to happen, the machine was just too powerful! So someone basically tampered with the machine. That would appear to be some kind of screwdriver, wouldn't it, Council? Ah! There he is! My trusty little companion, Andrew! Andrew is my flathead screwdriver, of course. His brother Michael is a crosshead. Here's to you, Albert. Oh, you're too kind, Barrack, but I'm really not a patch for you. Oh my god, that did not take long. He's already pissed. If the prosecution is unable to explain this inconsistency in its argument, we can only conclude that the testimony given in support cannot be relied upon. Van Zeeks is pissed, bro. Van Zeeks is stomped! Hold it! Holy shit! Do you have something to say, witness? Mr. Naruto, don't worry! About what? Without delving into the details, there is no inconsistency! What? Even if Andrew had been lodged in Mr. Asman's chest, my trusty tool wouldn't have moved. Andrew remaining on the, on the stage is consistent with my calculations. What? What? Sir. Oh my god, Van Zeke's already threw a wine bottle! This trial just started! <laughs> What's happening in this court? <laughs> oh um, Professor Harebrain. Yes! Whose side are you on? I don't take sides, Mr. Narhudo. No, no, no! My only interest lies in upholding my hypothesis. I'm a scientist after all. Oh my god. Bro, you're going to get accused for murder. And you'll never be able to do science ever again. Do you understand this? Clearly, you do not. You're wasting your breath, my learned friend. This scattered brain even forgets my name at times. So, Lord Van Zeeks really did have a friend once, but I didn't notice hell freezing over. <laughs> I will say it time and time again, I love this game so much! <laughs> My hypothesis is sound, the science is sound, please, you must believe me! Objection! 
No matter how unbelievable this hypothesis may seem to you, ladies and gentlemen, the fact remains that the victim was transported instantly to the Crystal Tower. Which means that the experiment was a success. Ah, oh, Beric! And therefore, the only person who could have possibly have committed this murder is the accused. Oh, Beric. <laughs> what about Beric? He's being awful. Claiming his old university friend to be a murderer, you mean? He's a disaster, not just as a prosecutor, but as a human being. We still love him, though, for some reason. Eh, because he's hot. But wait, no, uh, what? he's the Reaper, isn't he? Perhaps he's not classified as Homo sapiens anymore. Oh my god. Glad that's cleared up. So yes, he's a vampire. I have come to the great exhibition all the way from my home of Bohe oh, Bohemia. Okay. I'll try, I'll try. I'm gonna butcher these accents, I'm very sorry. What? I am very rich. <laughs> I bought this balloon! I am rich! Oh, I'm rich. Please, give me balloon. Okay. I still have lots of money! <laughs> uh, just before the second explosion happened next to our balloon, I clearly witnessed... ...a green balloon flying in the sky. Ah, a green balloon. We do have evidence of that. Hey, you what? I never saw nothing like that. Well, I did! I saw it, and you can't say I didn't! I will complain to the council, I will cry and scream! My testimony is the truth, I am Bohemian Prince! You cannot say it's a lie, that is not allowed! Okay... See, uh, that is correct. I can't do Italian. I can't, maybe I should just... It's just embarrassing. Esplosiones! 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 If I just do this, it helps the Italian! <laughs> Even though nobody does this! But for some reason, this really helps! It doesn't do anything, because the accent still sucks! I will just aggressively do this! You know what I think happened? Here's the crystal theory. So this, uh, this heavy crime syndicate or whatever they're talking about in the back streets of London, that Mr. Asmund was the, uh, leader of, they set up this operation and with Mr. Lune, Mr. the balloon man, to go, the balloon goes up at uh, the crystal tower at the same time, they blow a bomb that's attached to the beam device to make it tilt up to seem like it was a dud. They knew the experiment was never gonna be a success, but they made it to look like it. So they put a mimic of the cage, the people that built it, to get a second one with the real Asmund in there, and it drops from the hot air balloon, the explosion. So it looks like it was done by that. And what was in the... Uh, and the, on the experimentation stage? Well, they replaced it with a wax model. So your assertion is that the balloon this child saw was not one belonging to you? See, si, exactamente! If you even saw a balloon in the first place! I do not like the sound of it. It is very bad for business. I have a good mind to sue the land of Bohemia. If you attack us, we will fight back. It will be war at the war. What is happening? You just shit on each other and... What happened to all-out war? I, Albert Hairbrain, hereby confess that it... That it was... That it was me who stabbed Mr. Odias- Yes, it was me with my faithful friend and partner, Andrew the Screwdriver! Bro? If you acknowledge that the machine is genuine and instrumental in the victim's murder... Ah! Number two. <sighs> Pray. Forgive me, chat, for filling up my hallowed chalice in the courtroom today. A toast to this being a conjuring trick. Fuck the professor and fuck proper scientific invention. 
We are here for the truth. Cheers. What must I give up on is not the question you have to ask yourself here. It's what can I protect? What? Honey, what? No! The wine bottle! That's my- oh my god! Giselle Brett, that's a name I won't forget for as long as I live. The extraordinary thing is, though, it seems it's a name we should all forget. Sorry? Since the incident, our government's intelligence services have been investigating Miss Brett. It turns out that an English woman by the name of Giselle Brett didn't actually exist. It was a pseudonym. Her real name was Shin, and she was a visiting student either. Fucking called it, man! Duh! I knew Shin was a character that we already knew. I had a couple theories about who it was gonna be. Giselle Brett was one of them. It wasn't my top pick, though, for who Shin was. I had a feeling my first pick guess was actually Hosunaga for a second. The moment that I saw the hooded figure, the apprentice of Mr. Varen Von Zeeks, Ver Berg Von Zeeks, oh my god, I can't say his name anymore. At first, at first, I was like, it's Cosma, but he's very dead. I think that it is absolutely a relative of Cosma. I feel like I can say that with like 90% certainty. I think that he is a relative of some sort to Cosma, so I want to say that Cosma had a brother, a twin brother. All of the people on the hit list are British, except for Cosma. Could his family have been British? That does lead me to believe that Cosma, who's the only non-British person on that list, maybe has a background in Britain. Now I have to consider the fact that Lord Strongheart and Professor Mikotoba are either working together or they are not. I don't actually know. Another thing I'm fairly certain about now is that I do think that Sholmes also knows Professor Mikotoba. And Sholmes has already stated that he does not like Strongheart. Which can only be bad. I don't see how that in any way, shape, or form can be good. If Sholm says somebody is bad and he doesn't like somebody... Hmm. I feel like that's... telling. I genuinely think Lord Strongheart is a bad person. Genuinely feel that way. After he died on the voyage to Great Britain, his body should have been unladen at the port of Hong Kong and passed it into the care of the consulate staff there. Should have been. Well, it turns out that his body never arrived. It just disap- Our government tried to cover that fact up, it seems. They erected a grave on the cliffs of our, by our hometown. Except Kazuma-sama isn't there. They're still investigating what happened to Cosmo Sama's body as we speak. Don't get your hopes up. Don't get your hopes up. Don't get your hopes up! Cast your mind back for a moment, Mr. Narhodo. When Cosmo Sama was discovered, Mr. Sholmes was there, wasn't he? Finally, we're discussing this. And he definitely examined the body. I remember it clearly. Don't point Sholmes to be bad. I know where you're going with this and stop right there. I have a new immediate thought. Do, do I think that Sholmes knows the hit list of four people before we actually found out? I'm just thinking of the possibility of him knowing Kazuma before the incident claiming his body to be dead because if Cosmo was a, was dead on all accounts that would take him off of the hit list wouldn't it it would be a way of protecting him he could literally only know if he had dealings with professor mikotoba because professor mikotoba is the only person that gave Cosmo an inkling 
about his own death. The only way Kazuma knew that something bad was going to happen to him was because of Mikotoba. And that's a common link between Sholmes and Kazuma in that case. It was completely by accident that I came to know the title of your manuscript, Iris. It was a short while before we left Japan. I was cleaning Father's study and I saw something on his writing desk. Oh my god. Mikotoba was the person who invited Wilson to the f Japan in the first place. Of course, if he's the one that invited Wilson to Japan to study abroad in the first place, of course he knows Sholmes. Of course he would know his partner. Ah! Ah! That was so cute! There you are. I had a feeling you lot would show your mugs before long. Oh, that's not Gina. That's embarrassing. Oi, get over here, Gina! Oh. I'm being transferred. It's time for me to say toodaloo to London. I'm working in the Paris Police Prefecture. Should be right up my alley. But France! It's an entirely different country! I don't understand. Why would you be sent there? To be murdered, that's why. I'm intending to take the kid with me. No! Gina! What, you're taking Gina to Paris? I suppose he's worried that she'd slip back into slipping her hands into people's pockets and purses. I don't think he's worried about her pickpocketing, Mr. Naruto. I think he's worried about the Reaper. Oh, of course. So that's playing on Inspector Gregson's mind too, is it? Gregson is a good bean. He can't die. We must protect Inspector Gregson, chat. He cannot go to France. He'll die. All right, you are the boss. Inspector Lestrade in charge here now. She's so cute. I love her. Oh, look, is that... Oh! Van Zeeks, hi! You know, I've really uh, grown accustomed to seeing him outside of the courtroom. I could, uh, I could get used to this whole seeing him outside the courtroom thing. More often. If this was like a regular occurrence, uh, I'd be down. I'd be down for that. Lord Van Zeeks! Hello. <laughs> oh, this is great. Lord Chief Justice Strongheart granted us permission to investigate. On the condition that we didn't disturb anything. And yet you've managed to disturb me. <laughs> ah! I have a photograph of the man here, from an investigation ten years ago. Though it appears he had already had the black monocle at the time. Ten years ago, huh? What? No, nothing. I, um, I was just surprised that you shared that with us. We all need the man's testimony in court tomorrow. Which means we have to do everything we possibly can to track him down in the short time available. So why wouldn't I show you the photograph? What is it about Lord Van Zeeks? Sometimes I just can't work him out at all. That is why I like him so much. He's a confusing motherfucker. Hi. Kazuma Sama- She said it! He responded! The man appears to be suffering from amnesia. He's forgotten every last detail about himself. He has amnesia? Tomorrow, he will appear in court on my side. If Kazuma Sama really is still alive, it means that Mr. Sholmes lied to us. Ah! Uh, did he though? This is a lawyer, dear. Oh! Um, hello? To meet you. Uh, uh, pleased to meet you. Yes, I'm a defense lawyer. Ria knows get- Mama? Yes? Can I cut this one up? What? We really do need to speak with Mr. Sholmes, and I'm longing to say hello again. But where is he?
I think you might find that he's quite nearby. What do you... Indeed, my dear fellows, it is I! The world-famous great detective and waxwork, Herlock Sholmes. Susana-san! Oh my god, did she... She didn't. Did she Susano take down him? Or did she faint? We're about to find out. My dear madam, allow me to make amends by offering you a tasty free deduction at some point. <laughs> so she fainted. I don't believe it. A black monocle. Mr. Naruto, is, is it possible that this man is... It's Enoch Drebber. This man is the subject of your present hunt, I believe. That's right. Just who is this man? Why is he here in this exhibit, and why do you know him? This surely couldn't ever really happen. Could it? I think it's time I educated you a little. A little? Bitch, you have a lot to educate me on. A little is a little bit of an understatement. I'm gonna murder you. Myself. The boss and the others are heading over there now in a drag, so come on! Here's the address. I got the boss to write it out. Thank you, Gina. We'll make our way there at once. But Sholmes... Let's go, Mr. Sholmes. You're coming! Your words hearten me, I must say. But if I were to shirk my duties here... Madam would have me pay monetary recompense in Iris's dinner. Forget that! I'll pay for everything! Then there's not a moment to lose, my dear fellow! I shall hail a carriage at once! Ugh. So then, my dear fellow, let's turn this place upside down once we have the chance! And you, Mr. Sholmes. Oh. <laughs> Sholmes! Officially killed my Joy-Con! What a fucking bitch. Ah, this appears to be most interesting. Yes, most interesting indeed, wouldn't you say? It's an impressive looking back massager, that's for- What? I've no doubt that if you hit your shoulders a few times with that, your aches and pains would go- What? Would you like a massage? Um, <clears throat> um, yes. There's a strong possibility that beyond that door is the engineer that you all seek. Be prepared for action, my dear fellow. Oh my god. I don't like the sound of that. The last time we chased somebody and like went to a crime scene that was like, you know, active, um, uh, Sholmes got shot. I'm scared. Dynamite. Wait. Oh my god. Oh my god. Blow me. What have we here then? Don't say blow me. Are we just ignoring the bomb in the middle of the fucking ground? There's a bomb! Shams! He's literally- he's staring at it. He's just staring at the bomb. Do something about it, you idiot! Uh, sorry, but, uh, what is a time bomb, exactly? Why is Shams laughing? You truly are one of a kind, Mr. Naruto. Why are you laughing? But this particular specimen is no time bomb, though I confess it has a very similar appearance. Okay, then what is it? I'm panicking. <laughs> After all, it is great detective's civic duty to teach Scotland Yard the finer points of the trade. Look at his face! Oh my god, Gregson is so fed up. Yes, the reason why everything in here has been turned upside down is because of the anti-gravity device. Okay. The direction in which gravity acts in here was reversed by Mr. Drebber before being restored to normality in an automatic fashion sometime later by the timer device. I've witnessed precisely this scene in a dream I once had when I fell out of bed. Thus concludes Herlock Sholmes great deduction of this topsy-turvy puzzle. I think this deserves an applause. Gregson is even speechless. Gina's even speechless. Sasato's even speechless. Uh, yes. The thing is, in is such a thing actually possible?
possible. Um, uh, an anti-gravity device, I mean. I would say that with man's current scientific knowledge at the turn of the 20th century. It's no more possible than instantaneous kinesis! I'm glad, I'm glad we got that covered. <laughs> the upright vase clearly reveals the truth about the part gravity played in this whole business. And it's the exception that breaks the rule. In short, much as it pains me, gravity in this room was never inverted at all! My, my deepest sympathies for your loss! <laughs> When the day of the of the draw came around, I'd forgotten which book I'd written the number in and had to turn my room upside down to find it. That's it for people who have forgetful souls at heart and always forget where they've noted things down. Not if you always note things in the same place. What is happening? This is by far the most ridiculous deduction ever. I actually won the second prize, you know. I couldn't remember which magazine I'd slipped the thing. Uh, thank you, Mr. Narhodo, but I believe I've proved my point. Ah! Ah! <laughs> Mr. Drebber's hiding place must be. It's definitely the wardrobe. Gosh, guys, have you ever seen Narnia? It's the wardrobe. Take that! You can always climb inside yourself. Please, don't mind us. Do go ahead. I know how fond you are of wardrobes. Oh, he brought it up. Okay, bitch. Gregson has been sitting here listening to this whole thing. On a scale of like 1 to 10, how much do you think Gregson is fed up with our shit? 10 being really fed up. Because I think I would put it at, like, a solid 11. <laughs> I refer, of course, to the time bomb. I left it at a, in a most prominent position. Mr. Sholmes, with only seven seconds to spare? That was too close for comfort. I've got one foot in the grave already. Oh my fucking... And he's just chill. Like... He's just casual about this. Okay. When I heard whistling from the other room, I knew it was time to bolt. Whistling? Ah, that would have been me. We also found a rope over by the wall. I hate his smile. Ew, look at his smile, though. Is that not some of the most, like, unsettling shit you've ever seen? Jesus. This guy just, like, screams evil in every way, shape, and form, and it just makes you so uncomfortable. What do you mean? I calculated the time required for retreat to a safe distance and set the device accordingly. But your seemingly endless discourse in here threw a spanner in the works. Is something wrong, Gregson? <laughs> Bro, this actually just keeps getting better. You not leave at once. My dear madam, there's no need for such a threatening tone, I assure you. After all, there's no way to greet an old acquaintance, is it, Dr. Sith? Ah, Mr. Sholmes knows Dr. Sith. Doc okay, let me get this straight, Ryanosuke, you dumbass. Mr. Sholmes knows everybody. That's important. Get it in your brain. If someone is important, he knows them. It's plain and simple. So sorry. Didn't mean to offend. You're quite right, of course. You did disarm the time bomb, didn't you? Yes, you did disarm that one. What are you? one you mean no no oh okay oh 
I thought Gina was about to die, man. Oh, my heart sank so fast. I went an entire day yesterday without playing the game. I did it. I actually successfully did a whole day. And the best part was that I only half died inside. So I, I'd like to say, I'd like to think that that is a very successful day. Good morning, my dear fellows. Oh. <laughs> right away we get this fuck. Oh, dang. That did not take long at all. Mr. Sholmes, you're here. Ah, why naturally. A true gentleman stands shoulder to shoulder with his friends in battle at all times. What? Thank you. I really appreciate it. I'll, uh, see you later then. <laughs> Must I spell it out? I, the great Herlock Sholmes, the greatest detective of worldwide acclamation, arose at some ungodly hour to be here now. First thing in the morning, a miracle, you must agree. If I, uh, must agree, then... As you know, my sleep is quite impregnable. Iris had, had to employ her full gamut of tactics. She pulled the cover off, shook me, poked both cheeks, punched me, and kicked me from the bed! <laughs> Damn! Get it, Iris! Let's go! Oh my god, it goes more! There's more! Then she poured a boiling cup of her latest experimental blend on my face, and at last I was bestirred. Oh my god. Gregson! My dear fellow, why the grim expression at this delightfully early hour? <laughs> Oh, I don't know. Maybe because I've been confronted with a grimmer expression, eh? Dear me, are you going to take that insult lying down, Professor? <laughs> He's here. Oh no, the apprentice is here. Oh, this is gonna be such a good trial. I can feel it in my bones. Oh, he's still got a wine bottle on the table, so I guess he won't- he's gonna be crushing all the same next to his apprentice. Okay! That leaves an impression! Uh, that definitely leaves an impression. Would you therefore assert that the explosion of the machine was... An unfortunate accident, or, of course, a deliberate act of murder carried out by misuse of the science. He is very smart. I met the young man approximately one year ago through Mr. Asman's introduction. I feel like I have to press everything. This guy's difficult. And I had no interest in his private affairs. If he was an unscrupulous investor, it was no concern of mine. It's also really hard and distracting because literally all of his lines have highlighted words. It is very distracting. Like, everything he says is so important. How is it possible to construct a machine without really understanding the principles it relies on? Well, you're practicing law without really understanding the principles it relies on are- oh, wow. Though, to be even more rigorous, you would have to say it was only one vertebra, actually. Oh, third glass, let's go. Actually, I have something I'd like you to see, sir. I must warn you that I firmly believe it's only wise to trust men in white coats. So given your jet black outfit, I don't mind admitting to a sense of trepidation here. What? So you don't trust anyone in black? Looking in the mirror must be very trying. What? So Professor Hairbrain's fate is to be decided by a cob of corn. Could you uh, not at least wait until we've had more time to find the truth before deciding on the defendant's guilt? I don't know about that. My time's awful full already. M uh, amazing. Oh my... Sorry. I told you guys, I always think about Sholmes. He's always been sus of both Lord Strongheart and 
a Dr. Sith. Seems like he's known them for a very long time. I'm just thinking of the implications of the fact that Sholmes is the one presented this in the first place. Because he knew. WHY DOES HE KNOW?! God damn it, I still think about this shit. I hope that you'll take the stand and tell the truth about what really happened. That certainly won't be possible. Uh... Lord Van Zeeks won't be summoning me as a witness. Lord Strongheart has forbidden it. Oh, I was wondering when Mr. Lord Strongheart's name was gonna come up. He's gotta put a stop to this. Because that's where the real Pandora's box is. There's really no cause for concern, I assure you. When the trial resumes, the meaning will become all too apparent, whether you'd like it to or not. He's just watching this all play out, and he knows all, like, he knows everything. My curiosity got the better of me. I went back to the second case, and I got a particular clip to share. I was rather hoping I could resolve matters before we made our next port call. You were Mr. Sholmes? You were Mr. Sholmes? Yes, but I overlooked one important detail. The deceased young man was a very close companion of yours. Was he not? He was gonna dump this case. He didn't... He didn't deem the Cosma murder case to be important in any way. He was going to drop it. He mentioned at the beginning of this case that he was going to drop the case and uh, just leave it to me to be, like, uh, victimized. But he put a foot in specifically because he found out that Cosmo was my best friend. And I think that hit him hard because he just lost his best friend. So in a way, he's almost using me as, like, a rebound or a replacement for his lost companion that he had. And I think that's why this is all so important to him. It, I don't think that that's a coincidence that he tips his hat down and doesn't show his eyes whenever he says this. He lost his partner. So, like, that makes me want to cry. <laughs> You know what's gonna eventually happen with this mask man? You wanna know how the reveal is gonna happen? Oh, I'll lay out the reveal for you. He comes out in the middle. He recognizes me and Sasato. He takes off the hood. And you know what happens when he takes off the hood? The headband. Blowing in the non-existent wind in the middle of the courtroom. Sholmes, oh my god. <laughs> Do you mean to say that beneath that mask? Oui, the true visage of the killer is there. This is ludicrous. It's out of the question. This is huge for Van Zeeks. Oh my god. I cannot imagine how he's feeling right now about this. His feelings have to be like. Oh no! I pressed X! Oh, I, I meant to examine. Oh no, no, no. Oh god. Oh, that's a bad start. I pressed the wrong button. As the Mademoiselle says, Riga Moldes commences three hours after death and it starts in the jaw. I can't help feeling that after this latest topic, the atmosphere in the courtroom has become extremely great. This court must summon Dr. Sith to the stand. The defense is determined to find out exactly how the coroner and Mr. Drebber are connected. Oh my god. According to the missive I received this morning through the prosecutor's office, Dr. Sith is unable to participate in these proceedings. Is that not the case? Oh man, Van Zeeks. Are you gonna break some rules? How desperate is he to find out the truth? The prosecution calls for the instructions in that missive to be scrapped! No! Holy shit, bro! Let Enoch Drebber and Dr. Sid both take the stand together. It 
just got real hot in this courtroom. Holy shit, bro. You bet that Mr. Sholmes is in the audience right now like, oh, fuck, we got him. We got Lord Van Zeek, bro. I called for this to happen ever since the very beginning. Yeah, let's go. This kind of camera is rarely seen in our homeland, so my colleague and I were keen to examine it closely. We noticed that the lens extends forward on the end of some bellows. Like this. Hold it! What's that? They're just on the bellows. Van Zeeks is so... emotional. For like, the first time ever. This is getting to him. It's really cool to see. Like, I'm sad. I feel really bad for him, but like, it's also really cool to see his development. Imagine if the convict who'd been sentenced to death was not in fact killed. Imagine if that was to come to light. What are you insinuating? And imagine if the convict in question was the country's most hated mass murderer. If it was the professor. That would be an unprecedented scandal. Objection! This is beyond a joke. Need I point out that the dead cannot come back to life? What are you suggesting? What you're suggesting would mean that the execution never actually happened. Yes, that's exactly what it would mean. Objection! Van Zeeks is so pissed. Oh my god. Once a man is sent to the gallows, he hangs. No one can escape that. Not in Great Britain. Objection! There are so many objections getting thrown. Holy shit, this is so intense. Oh my god. Oh! We got a leg, bro! Yes! Who pulled the trigger and disposed of him forever? Let's see if you can back up your heady proposal, shall we? Oh! Oh god, the masked man went- Woo! Yo, the lost cat. Oh, that's a good theory. 200% not trolling. There was another link between the professor and Mr. Drebber. Mr. Drebber wanted Osman dead because Osman uh, had taken uh, Drebber's cat hostage. The hound of the Baskerville? Oh no, it's no hound, it's a cat. And Drebber had trained this cat to commit mass murder of the royal families. Uh, five, royal t five royal members died as a result of this uh, hound cat. And what did Asmund do? He exposed Drebber. That would make him very angry, wouldn't it? That's right, he would be out for his life in that case. So, with that being said, I think this has everything to do with the cat. The truth is... Finally, he's going to fold? I don't think he's gonna fold still, but sure. Fine. Clearly, this has run its course now. I admit it. All of it. What? What are you doing? It's exactly as the Japanese man said. I was coerced into going along with this man's plot to murder the victim. On the condition that he kept my dirty secret from ten years ago. Oh my god. As the court has heard, Dr. Sid has admitted to the allegations brought by the defense. Thereby absolving the defendant of any possible guilt. You mean, at the present time, it is the conclusion of the court, the defendant was not involved in any wrongdoing. What is happening in this fucking courtroom? Like you said before, the way the trial is set to end now, the judge will certainly deliver a verdict of not guilty. But is that really what we want? No! The defense objects to the trial ending at this time. I beg your pardon. We demand one final testimony. Okay. 
I'm winded from this trial. Holy shit. You do realize I'm about to adjudicate in favor of your client, I presume. What are you playing at now, my Nikonese friend? Why would you want to obstruct the conclusion of the trial at this point? No defense lawyer in their right mind would do that. For Kazuma! Who's right across the room? <laughs> but for Kazuma! Yes, Mr. Sholmes! One word of warning before I go. If in the course of the trial this afternoon you perceive even a shadow of doubt about the truth, don't let it out of your sight. Pursue it like the dog with the bone. Yes, Mr. Sholmes, yes I will! And that is why the defense calls for further testimony from Dr. Sin. As his lordship made very plain, your client will get the acquittal you wanted for him. There's simply not, no point in retracting this business further with, a, with another tedious cross-examination. Objection! Oh, Van Zeeks! Oh, Van Zeeks, what? What is your objection, Lord Van Zeeks? The prosecution... Also calls for supplementary testimony from the witness. <laughs> Holy shit! If there is more to this case than has yet come to light, then I will join my learned friend in pursuing the facts until the bitter end. Is it just me or did Van Zeeks throughout the course of this stream get a million times more attractive? Oh, oh my god. Dude, now I can see why Mr. Sholmes wanted to stay in the audience for this one. He's like sitting at the edge of his seat. Bro, so am I. Bro, so am I. I am with you, Mr. Sholmes. I think it actually is this one then. Okay, I'm going for it. This is my last strike I have. Oh, no, no. oh wait, uh, I, oh, Joy-Con drifting, are you serious? <laughs> It's the adult-brained mock scientists that are the worst, you know? They don't recognize the fact that they don't have talent. They can't even get that right. I've spent my life thinking of nothing but my research. Misguidedly believing that I could do whatever I set my mind to, despite my lack of talent. And the worst of it is, in the process, I've caused others pain and misery. Others who are far, far greater people than I! No, Professor. That's not true. Don't tar yourself with the same brush as Drebber. What happened was his doing and his alone. This outcome is his fate, not yours. You're not to blame in any way. Lord Van Zeeks. And the derision with which he referred to you earlier, calling you a fool, talentless even. The man has no idea. To believe in yourself and work your fingers to the bone to realize your dreams, that's laudable, not laughable. Bro, I got goosebumps. No one has the right to deride another for such choices. Bro. Oh man, in just one trial, my love for Van Zeeks just went I hereby pronounce the defendant not guilty! But so many other bad things just happened. This trial was extremely unsettling. I'm not even- I don't even know if I'm allowed to celebrate. You're one of the few true friends that I have. I couldn't leave it to anybody else to handle the prosecution. Or the defense. Sorry? He trusted me. He trusted me to save his friend. Bruh, that's hot. <laughs> ah! How about you show me around while I'm here in town? It's been a long time since we left university. We have a lot to catch up on. Listen, Albert. In a few days, your acquittal will be made official. When that happens, you must head straight to Dover. I'll accompany. Oh, he knows. Those in the Reaper's sights meet their ends, days, or sometimes months. After their acquittal.
That's why I'm packing him off to Germany at once. Don't look at me like that. It's hot. I don't know why. Sorry. We have matters to discuss. Can you spare me some time? Um, uh, you can have all of my time. I imagine you've been wondering where my animosity towards your Nipponese comes from. Story time, story time, story time, story time, story time. Yes! Yes! Come on. The professor was Japanese. Three judicial students came to Britain from your homeland, the Empire of Japan. Ugh! I'm a Boston nut, bro. If it was 16 years ago, then one of them could have been my father. No, it was your father, not could have been, you dumbass. When the trial reached its ah! conclusion earlier, I thought to myself, yes, it's time. Bro, he's so hot! Oh my god, and it's voiced! <laughs> Until now, the thought never even crossed my mind. <laughs> that the mass murderer whose crimes shook Britain has never before... ...was Japanese! Wait... wait a minute. That face... I feel as though I've seen it somewhere. <laughs> it's strangely familiar. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's his dad, isn't it? That was. Oh, oh my god! Oh no! Oh no! I'm gonna cry. Bro. Oh my god. Where's the headband? Get him the headband stash. Awesome. <laughs> oh my god, bro. <laughs> bro. <laughs> my best friend, oh Kazuma Asogi. After a whole year, oh. finally his memories returned. <laughs> Give him the headband! Give him the headband now! If you really love him! As he stood there before God, he looks so much more attractive in that uniform! Holy shit! Ryunosuke. <laughs> Bro. Hello again. <sighs> my friend. My friend! Oh my god! Kazuma-sama! Judicial assistant Mikotoba. <laughs> it's been a very long road. Thank you. Thank you for guiding my friend here when I could not. It, it was an honor. My friend. Bro, just being already good him. Ryunosuke, we have much to talk about, but now is not the time. I'll be seeing you. Will you? I knew there was going to be a reunited whenever like cuz I knew it was Cosmo. Then you start thinking about like, "Oh, how's this re uh, reunited uh, re re uh, I can't even talk. I'm so flustered." Whenever they reunite, how's that going to go? Uh well, that was pretty gay.